What's up, people? Setting up a web store with Strikingly is super easy. In today's video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to build a great web store, kind of like these. Strikingly Simple Store makes the entire process really painless. Today, we'll be making a website for The Golden Duck, also known as TGD, a company that sells gourmet chips in Singapore. First, select a theme. Today, we'll choose Bright. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and delete these default sections to the left. Once you've done that, take a look at the editor. This is where you add different sections to your site. At the end of the day, you want your website to tell your viewers what you're selling, why they should buy it, and how to buy it. There are many ways to accomplish this. I'm going to start by adding a nice background image, TGD's logo, and a snappy headline in the first section. Here, you're going to want to include good visuals or a representation of what you're selling, but you don't want to overdo it. Remember, you don't need to explain everything about your store or your product just yet. That'll come after. Now comes the entire tell your viewers and what you are selling and why they should buy it part. I'm going to add a content in rows section, listing some of the publications that TGD has been featured in. However, there are so many ways that you can present your product. You can add a gallery full of images, a video, a section where you describe your product, the list goes on. But you're going to want to limit yourself to one or two sections. You want to show, not tell and streamline to the shop as quickly as possible. That is, unless additional text or images is absolutely necessary to differentiate your product, don't add it. But this is a judgment call that you're going to need to make when setting up your shop. That being said, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to add another section so you can get a better idea of what options you have. I'll add a section with a small quote describing the Golden Ducks chips taken from their website. Now, the web store itself. I'm going to go ahead and add a simple store section. Click here to add your first product. As a free user, you can add one product to your store. Next, add your price and number of stock. If you'd like, you can add a short description as well. Over here, you can add additional options such as size or color. And now hit save and head over to settings to set up payment information and store currency. We'll use PayPal and US dollars. Now that you've completed your store, we recommend that you add a button linking to it at the very beginning of the page. So let's head back up and click add a button. Take note of which section your store is. On this page, it's the fourth section so we'll add the text number four. If your store is the third section, you would add number three, and so on and so forth. Now, you can choose to add a section after your store if you'd like, such as a newsletter sign-up page or a social media feed. It's a nice touch. We'll add a newsletter sign-up. Cool, now we're almost done. Double check everything before you publish your website. You don't want any mistakes to slip through the cracks. And remember what I said at the beginning of the video. You want your website to tell your viewers what you are selling, why they should buy it, and how to buy it, all in a concise manner. Take a good look at your final product and ask yourself if that's what you've accomplished. Are some parts too clunky? Do you have too much information? Too little information? Taking a look at the website we made here, the user first sees a logo, a nice image, and a button to go directly to the store and buy these chips. This is just enough to hook them. And if they scroll down a little bit, they're introduced to information regarding these tips and what makes them special. And then they're brought straight to the store. After that, if they wish to continue down, they'll find more things such as the newsletter we've added. I'd say that this website is good to go. Hit preview to see how your site looks across different platforms. If you're satisfied with everything, go ahead and hit publish. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful.